welcome back to civil engineers youtube channel in this short video lecture i will guide you for basic knowledge especially for civil engineering students if you are working on construction site if you are studying so watch this video till the end to know about new information especially for civil engineering students if you are new on this channel so you may like the video and subscribe the channel for more civil engineering updates guys you can see the first one for in basic knowledge we have dead load means self weight of the structure what does it mean suppose we have a footing on the top of this these are the columns and this is other footing and these two are columns on the top of this uh, this is a, a top beam and this is rcc slab okay so it means the weight of footing weight of column weight of beam weight of slab it is called self weight of the structure so dead load means self weight of structure in rcc construction or you can say in the construction anyone construction self weight is called structure load next guys dpc what is dpc guys you can see on the top of the foundation suppose this is the depth of the foundation for example one meter on the top of this we are providing dpc guys you can see this is dpc means damp proof course and the thickness of the dpc should not be less than 2.5 centimeter so the dpc is very important to protect the uh, from the foundation or so the foundation is a lot of water because uh, we have a lot of water in foundation so to uh, so it it protect the brick masonry or you can say from the plinth level it protect okay so therefore dpc is very important to protect the building from the seepage okay so therefore dpc is a very important part of uh, the uh, building construction layer which thickness should not be less than one inch or you can say 2.5 centimeter it should not be less than this right this is dpc next guys if there is more than five percent moisture content in the sand moisture content mean if there is moisture in the sand so don't use it for the concrete mix okay don't use for the concrete if that is anyone if that is uh, m5 m7.5 m10 m15 m20 but if we have more than five percent moisture content in sand so don't use next the curing period of the rcc is 28 days why because uh, weight of the steel uh, suppose i have m20 grade concrete m20 grade it means this at characteristics strength is 20 newton 20 newton per mm square after 28 days so therefore the uh, concrete curing is very important to get the full strength in 28 days so therefore the curing period of rcc is 28 days next guys the transverse reinforcement provide in column is called beam uh, ties suppose in column this is column and transverse reinforcement we are placing like this ring so rings is called ties so ties in column and the transfer reinforcement is provided in beam is called stirrups and beam when we are providing the rings that's called so these are stirrups in beam because this is beam so it, it's called stirrups okay in column we have ties right next guys here you can see we use the ties as we discussed before we use ties in column and strips in beam to handle the to handle the shear force and keep the longitudinal bars in position guys you can see these are longitudinal bars to keep it in position so we are placing our we are connecting all these longitudinal bars with the help of the stirrups okay and also longitudinal bars and ties are you can say in beam okay uh, in beam and also in columns so for especially for shear force and also to uh, keep the bars in position next guys you can see m20 grade concrete which is very important where the ratio is one ratio 1.5 ratio 3 so m20 grade concrete should be used for foundation beam column and also slab let me write here slab also for slab construction don't use less than this hook length should not be less than 9d where d is diameter of steel what is hook so let me guide you first of all for this so guys you can see this is ring or stirrup you can say and these are hooks so this length guys you can see this length should not be less than 9d where d is this die of steel bar normally we are using 8 millimeter right the next one is guys also very important and keep in your mind the height of the riser 
steer should be between 150 to 200 millimeter guys you can see here this is a steer so this is uh, suppose height is nine feet and you can see the steer like this so this is called riser this riser should be 150 to 200 millimeter and this is straight this one and this is riser this is straight this is riser this is straight and this straight should be 250 mm to 300 millimeter right you can keep like this next guys you can see the slope of the pitch should be between 25 to 40 degree what is pitch guys you can see this is ground level and you can see the pitch is here so this angle should be 25 to 40 degree right the next one is guys cement more than three months old should not be used in construction because uh, uh, it expired after three months so therefore uh, when you are checking it uh, before manufacture date so when it's more than three months or about three months so don't use for the construction guys this is a short video but very important for you people to know about the basic knowledge for civil engineering students thanks for watching see you in next video goodbye